Today we have a very, very special guest. We have the British half of Sad Boys, the Maestro of the Keys, not the Jordan that intercepted the Iranian missiles. Not yet. Conductor of the Boston Tea Party, <laughs> Jordan Adika. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> what? what? Wallahi. Wallahi. What's up, Habibis? <laughs> broken vamp. Welcome in, Habibis. Welcome in, Habibis. Welcome in, Habibis. Another episode of the Arabs podcast today. Our guest is Jordan Adika. We got Jordy Blaze with us. What's up? Hi. I like that a lot, We have Uwu, Uwu King or whatever. The, <laughs> All the way here from North Carolina. <laughs> I could be the Uwu King. <laughs> Are you not the Uwu King? I mean, I'm definitely no. like the Who knows? This is news to me, but yes. He's the silly guy. The silly, silly, silly goose. goose. You're the silly, silly goose. goose. I don't think silly I've goose. ever talked about that on like Mike. That we because you just reminded me. Yeah. Of it. You need time. to talk about it because I heard you guys talking about it from the outside there, and I was like, <laughs> I need to speak to Jordan about this moment. <laughs> so we all went out to a bar last year. And it was this bar that was like, everybody wanted to be the main fucking character. It was oh, like yes. 70s theme. It was like a dance floor. It wasn't 70s theme. Everybody it was just LA people trying to dress up to be like the star of a movie. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck. But we were in the back of the bar. It was me, Jordan, so it's Capri. demanded. It was segregated. Yeah, the back yeah I get to know that. Yeah. <laughs> they were they, they were in the hood. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, you two with the hats. Go to the back of the car. It was me, Capri, Jordan, Carter, Will, Caroline, Nandre, Spooky, Scootish, Oxy. Emilio Estevez was, it was also it was, there. It was, it was, I wasn't invited and for this motherfucker's yeah, you fault. Know, yeah, we're going to get to that. Okay, so Raph and I. Became, no, that wasn't that time. It, it was. It was, <laughs> it was. <laughs> it was so, one of them. <laughs> So we have like a, a meme, but I think it's real. Like Capri gate kept me and Raph. We became friends in the summer of last year, but we both were visiting Capri at the same time. But he did oh, not. Oh, yeah, he moved yet. Huh, no. Yeah. It, he did not let us meet. He did not introduce us to each other. That rocks. He that, just split time between I've said us. This, like, I'll, say, I'll say it again. You guys are fucking annoying together. So like, <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not going to lie. So, you, the dynamic works on Mike, but outside it's all. Like, what a nightmare. <laughs> He literally left Raph to come to your party that right. that's you're not, having. That's not what it was. Right. I was in a record shop. And the housewarming one? Yes. Yeah. That, that's not how it worked. What happened? And had I known Raph, I would have been like, hey, Jordan, can Raph come to the party too? And I would have said, <laughs> Capri? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, can he? Yes. <laughs> that's not what Raph was. Can we be friends, please? <laughs> this is what happened. Raph was like. I may be able to hang out. I may not. And then I was like, that's all right. not what happened. It was, it was not a hundred percent. That's not what happened. And we had all. I just so clearly can't be the case. <laughs> I, was, I was in a record shop and you were like, what are you doing today? I was like, oh, I'm here at the record shop. I don't have anything going on. You said, oh, I'm going to this cool YouTuber party. That's not what I said. <laughs> and you said, that's not, he's, he's, you said, now he's adding stuff. And you're like, I dude, Thank if you, I, by the way. Yeah, I did not I said, say oh, that. I said, oh, okay, cool. And then you said, you know, I don't, I think I'm gonna do that tonight. I don't know if you can come. I'm I'm sorry. I'm like I'm like oh it's all good. And the Whatever. best part is not he didn't story. even tell me. That's not the story. So I could ask Jordan. That's not the story. Well, the, the thing he, is, the, yeah, he didn't want to go to your stupid party anyway. He Relax. Did. It was mostly about you. <laughs> <laughs> it was a surprise party for no, Raph. So, costume. So he gate kept me and Raph, and then Raph and I ended up meeting like about a month or so later because I wanted to play Fortnite, and he said he would play Fortnite with me. And then it was worst his worst nightmare. <laughs> it's not. Listen. Me coming into your life, the best thing that could have ever happened to you. You have something you want to say, and it has been the best thing. Period. What about me? Oh. So we were at a bar that one night with a whole group of people. <laughs> and we, He's crying. <laughs> we, we all were sitting around talking, and this group of girls came up to Jordan, and they're like, are you? Not unusual, no, I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have sex one day. Yeah. 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 I'm, yeah. I'm figuring out how to do it. <laughs> Where does it go? <laughs> I, did, I was there, and they were coming up to me, too. No, they weren't. <laughs> <laughs> they were actually coming up to me more, so. Hold on. I, I'm, I'm going to incriminate him. Did you like them coming up to you? No. What do you mean? Did you like the girls coming up to you? No, what do you mean, did I like them? What does that mean? Say yes or no. Sure. Say yes. yes. 
this 35 year old man likes it when 21 year old Jesus. undergrad oh UCLA oh, what is oh what a crazy what a crazy baby. Baby. dude fucking Chris Hansen dude, that's the worst Chris Hansen ever <laughs> Chris I'm doing like it say like it like <laughs> this uh, motherfucker Pedro says what well you got me Chris those are the rules so we were talking and they go up to Jordan and they're like oh my god are you this silly goose on the internet yeah. And we were just like, I just stood there because it was like a social experiment for me. I was like, I need to watch they this. They were nice. Down. I mean, they were rude. Yeah. It was just confusing. I don't think that's a brand I propagated. Yeah, the silly goose. I'm t kind of more known as a facts and logic, straightforward, <laughs> uh, know your rights. Know your British rights, which are none. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you as brown British Ben Shapiro. You have the right to right. counsel. Yeah. <laughs> the interesting thing about England. <laughs> I just heard about the queen. Shit. So they came up to you, and then what? You just you agreed to them, or you were like, "Get the fuck out of no. my face!" I said, "Caprice taking his clothes off." <laughs> I don't want what the hell? You took your clothes off. This guy loves these. I took my clothes off that night. <laughs> oh, but geez. not in the same moment. Respect. <laughs> and then one thing I remember from that night is Scootish was ordering drinks for everybody, and then at the bottom of the notes app, he put, "I have Murpees." <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was funny that was really good that was good yeah that was good but yeah fuck that bar it was like main character the vibes were fucked I okay. mean I'll fucking dox it it's Zebulon oh that's what it is yeah it's Zebulon they've been trying to figure like, it out for months now I know now. what it was because now it's like and a he wouldn't tell me it's a permanent bar on a map every time I drive like in the, the Burbank area it's on the map it's permanent well that's usually how locations work mm. but it comes up <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like when you drive no, by, like that's yeah, what happens. Comes up on a map. <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't move. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> You're Listen so to stupid, him. Stupid, stupid. <laughs> so doubling down on something that clearly is nonsense. <laughs> Stays on the map. <laughs> Ass. Okay. In prep for the podcast, we did op research on you. Oh Jesus! And one thing Jesus Christ, when three Arabs do op research yeah. on someone else. You're a terrorist. Uh, hey, lock me up, pal. <laughs> You're forty percent Arab. In so, in order to kind of like get you solidified as family, you have to go in public and scream "Allahu Akbar" and okay. see their reaction. Yeah. Where am I doing it? Like, uh, like geez. <laughs> just look at yeah. your camera. Just do it really quick, and we'll put explosions. Put a little turban <laughs> on them and stuff. Oh, like okay. that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay yeah. still. You can like chrome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Don't control. worry. We'll, we'll figure it out. out. We'll, we'll figure, figure it out. We'll figure it out. Sorry, Draster. What's going on, gamers? Uh, just want to give a shout out first to <laughs> so whatever. Bleep that. I'm not I'm not paid for them right now. Uh, and I also allow Akbar to the fucker boys. <laughs> yeah. Explosions. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Yalla, yalla, yalla. So oh, one of those prefab uh, like After Effects. Yeah. 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 Like, but like uh, title subtitles. Exactly. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gaming death. Fuck. <laughs> Welcome to the fuck shit. Can, so I, we, can I be nasty? Can I say stuff? Yeah, like say that? whatever yes. you want. Bastard. <laughs> Whoa. Fudge. Whoa. We, say, Whoa. we say slurs on this podcast. Oh, yeah. name top, top five. Top five. You're listening to watch mode. <laughs> <laughs> top five slurs. So he was doing a lot of the research. We, it, oh, I was doing a lot of the slurs. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't me. The research. He's, yeah. The practice. He says a lot of slurs. Oh my Don't god, bro, of... Jesus Christ. And this guy? What? <laughs> oh, brother. Says some. Now I'm not high fiving you for slurs. All right, but I wanted to implicate you like he did me earlier. You no, know you saying? can't. You can't. Okay. You All can't. Right. The thing, nobody says slurs on this podcast. The only, technically, the name of this podcast is a slur, but that's the only slur we say. I was thinking this morning I'm more comfortable saying Arabs than Arabs in <laughs> this, like, scale. Yeah. There's something odd about, like, just three people being like, what's up, Arabs? Yeah. <laughs> that like, is Jesus. weird. It's fucking weird. Well, there's yeah, no that brand is weird. element. <laughs> it's like, oh, you're the Arabs? So, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. us. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that's that's all of them. We're all surfing three. Arabs. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rafi was trying to do the research, and it turns out you don't have, like, an internet footprint. No, I'm pretty, I'm off the grid. That's part of my libertarian mindset. I think they said like, uh, I don't want to keep talking much. shit. It's on the internet. Why you here? It's on the internet, but we'll believe it off. It's like they said like your last name's like Cope, and I was like, that makes a lot of fucking sense. That's mean. <laughs> That's You're rude to me. I did recently. Every now and then, I uh, like really old um, like Jarvis videos when I was guesting on them, like mm -hmm. circa 2018. I was still using my last name, and I've I've talked about this I think publicly. 
And then on the, the Tommy Unit episode recently, I just said my full name. And like, <laughs> I was too, it made for like a good reel. So I was shy. I didn't want to go like, <laughs> <laughs> would that cut right? Uh, but there's, you, we can give it in. My last name is Cope. Very funny. That's but really I stopped funny. using it preemptively before the, that would have even been the meme to me because I got sued. <laughs> uh, I got sued as the uh, it, ha it happened a couple times because on the old Patreon careers page when I worked there uh, you all had you know kitschy fun little names you know we had a pinball table in the office you know all that <laughs> kind of cunty stuff <laughs> and then uh, we because of my choice was chief, I was you know I was like 20 when I started I was like chief executive cool guy pretty funny guy <laughs> can I have more money um, and then I don't remember the process but i used to get when the company would get a better business bureau cease and desist stuff it'd be from someone that like didn't get their merch package from a creator or whatever um just like a very formal complaint and two different times we got like an actual lawsuit submitted but they thought C chief executive cool guy meant the, the ceo oh my god <laughs> but, <laughs> And like all the all the online sites that just uh, scrape the data from from websites like that. Yeah, uh, it like, says that you're the chief executive. Yeah, Glassdoor just said like CEO Jordan <laughs> Tom. Well, <laughs> I'll, I'll keep the name lean again. But yeah, it's, I, so I stopped using it, and then uh, I was going to be Jordan Thomas, which. Um, that sounds uh, that sounds like a really bad basketball player. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Number sixty nine, Jordan yeah. Thomas. He's like so tall, he should be good. Yeah, <laughs> like six foot two in middle school, yeah. but like can't dribble. I'm projecting. Yeah. <laughs> I Jordan just like. <laughs> I remember like a couple months ago, Noah texted me and was like, "Trying to get some people together to like play basketball and stuff," and yeah. I was like, "I." I literally can't. I don't know how to dribble a basketball, <laughs> despite genetics and the number of uh, like times my white, exclu almost exclusively white, like schooling as a kid would just be like, "Well, maybe you should be playing uh, basketball." <laughs> they don't even have fucking have it. They even do it at the school. And they're like, well, if we started, it could be you know, like you're like Michael the British Jordan. play basketball. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> do they play basketball in the UK? And my school didn't. We had like <laughs> two footballs. <laughs> that was it. So, that was the sports department. <laughs> yeah, I heard I, from my op research, I had to <laughs> go to the big guns. Sounds so funny. What were you searching? No, I, I went to people. Oh, who's my... Uh... Who's, who's, Two people. Who are my shooters? You, you, you probably, you probably yeah. could guess exactly who I asked. Uh, yeah. Apparently... The ones with the intimate knowledge. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Say the size. We call the CIA. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess. Yeah, I reached out to your um... attorneys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. My, my girlfriend in Quantico. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently, you hated soccer growing up, or you didn't really yeah, enjoy I felt it. Very insecure. British soccer, not American soccer. Yeah, the one where uh, you, yeah, the the real... you have to walk. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's no kicking. <laughs> you have to ask if you can kick it. Yeah. Oh, pardon me. Sorry. May I do this? I just, oh, I'm so sorry. How Goal. the fuck, as a British person, did you hate soccer? I well, I think I hated it in the same respect that when you're, uh, like a, a teenager, you have to have binary perspectives on stuff that mm. anything, like regardless of popularity level, because I just didn't get it. Mm -hmm. Like my mum didn't like it was, it was just me and her, and she wasn't into it, and I didn't have any figure in my life that was like pushing it or giving me the reference points. So it's like, yeah. You know, if you don't know who the Undertaker is, you're not gonna have as good a time at like <laughs> right. role, right? And right, it was yeah. this. I was saying I supported Liverpool, but I've watched like I don't think I have watched a full football match in my entire life. <laughs> it seems neat. It seems cool. But even now, I'm like shit. Now it's twice as hard to maintain, and I'm also shameless now because if somebody makes fun of me for you know just not knowing or not liking stuff, I'm like, yeah, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> I've been getting progressively dumber for like five years. I'm, I might have like a two-digit IQ at this point. The sure. American way, honestly. <laughs> You're getting, I mean, I think it's you, that hat is really cutting off the circulation of your brain, and it's, <laughs> it's really helping. Howdy. <laughs> for people that are only listening to the audio, I'm wearing a 15-gallon cowboy hat. <laughs> uh, I have, you know how like Australian cowboy hats have little corks hanging off it? I have revolvers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Loaded, spinning. Yep. It's just, it's just, it's a hat with two revolvers just sticking on it for some reason. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, shit. Whoa! Hey, yo! 
Hey, oh. Jordan's brandishing a gun. He's pointing at my face with audio listeners. <laughs> I'm finally free. For the audio listeners, this is not a bit. He really pulled out a fucking gun. Yeah, I bought a, no sh not shitting you. I, I really did browse like, what's the right Amazon price for the holster? The, what is the right? It's fun, but not like it's, <laughs> I'm never using it again. No, I just what is the right price for a holster for you to buy uh, a holster? This faux leather holster, a yeah. nifty 30. You can oh. get some cheaper Velcro sets. I'll be quite frank with you. I have no fucking idea how to put this thing on. I think it's got I think the, you did it right. It's got the Nathan Drake, Stephen Crowder strap at the back. It's really good. <laughs> but, um, I'm, I went. Uh, Is that where like it crosses over? Yeah, I'm Leon it's like, Kennedy it's, coded. It's, it's, it's giving me. Back it's giving me like yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It's to help with my sciatica. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like too much I shoot myself. <laughs> That's not even a gun holder, dude. You <laughs> just pulled it out. Oh my god. Yeah, I, so can I be honest? I, I you and guns after we went to your house and I shot a bullet at the ceiling. Yeah. I think um, I still feel so. That's bad why they call it that. one in the chamber. You always keep one in the chamber. <laughs> we literally just had I have not used this in ages. I was a hundred percent sure it was empty and then at the party. You guys following some kind of, I think, cultural instinct started playing with the guns. <laughs> but we were teaching, we were teaching. The BB guns, to be clear, and the katana. I live in a 15 year old. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, it really, like, as soon as I was. You live in like, an armory. It's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> Literally, the moment I was even, like, slightly up, I just started spending my money on chill. But, like, I don't, I still have the poor patrol wheel that I bought Kraken for his birthday. And it's, I, pl I literally was playing with it. <laughs> I was sat watching TV and it was just like, who should we call down? Like, police. <laughs> well done. <laughs> See, she had a drive, like the six year old. But they, uh, yeah, I guess this had a single BB. <laughs> and yeah. uh, you, we were all playing with it, just kind of, like, ah, ah, and then you uh, aimed it up and it did shoot into the ceiling. <laughs> what is this? I'm like holding it like this, and then Jordan's like, I, There's nothing in it, I promise. I'm like, Oh, there's no O2, we're all good. And I just go, Bop! And yeah. then, like, the whole party like gets down. And I was like, Oh, fuck. Dude. And also, <laughs> Everyone looked at me like, What the fuck? Is I have your a problem? video of the hole in the ceiling. Do you? Yeah, we'll put it on screen. Yeah. What did you do? Nothing. What did you do? Oh, yeah, well, what's that? Explain, explain that to me. What is that? What's that little hole doing in the wall? Oh my god! What'd you do? That is in the fucking wall. Where's the evidence? God damn it! There also is still a cartridge in here, and I think it is like O2 is in here, and the rifle. Did you shoot the rifle at all? That's the one that fired. Oh, the oh, rifle. Yeah. I think the rifle do fired. It. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Then Stand my ground, Castle Doctor. <laughs> what do you want me to do? TSA turns up for a follow up. Hey, I do want to. I do want to say it's been a little hard to understand you. Relax. Just like with your accent, you don't have to code switch with us, dude. I know, like in your life, you've been what changing your <laughs> changing your accent because you didn't like where you were from. Is that? Uh, is that we heard you're a country boy, and you didn't like your, yeah, like, your country, country accent. boy I, uh, accent. I miss doing it because it's like. Like, uh, it's like an ease of it. The dialect is just easier. There's less consonants and stuff. But then you just get fatigued <laughs> saying everything twice. It's like, you just feel that. Especially when what my is job it, was What does the country act, what does it's it like, sound I love like? Love. What? Is that it? Uh, That's racist. What do you mean? It's, I mean, so. It's yeah. accurate. <laughs> <though. laughs> I did it. Uh, uh, no, mine was, mine was more like that. Like, like <laughs> Hello. Uh, Blackbeard <laughs> is from close to where I am from. That's Black what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. one does it sound like? You know, or Stephen Merchant, you know him? And yeah. He's Wheatley from Portal 2. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He, yeah that yeah, is, yeah, yeah. he's from Bristol, which is like an hour from me, basically. Gotcha, you, gotcha, you, gotcha. You. Yeah, I've been to the UK 10 times. How many times did you change your accent? Like, how many different accents did you have until you settled on I this one? I wasn't, I mean, it just was not even a conscious thing. I was just like, well, I better start using more consonants. Well, and that then, seems like it was a conscious thing. Yeah, oh, well, I just kind of came in and then, because I was doing it at work, but then not. At play. Oh, gosh. Gotcha. And then uh, I just kind of got acclimatized <laughs> to it because, you know, to tech office, everyone's fucking like yeah. crackerized. And, like, yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but now I, I've drifted a little bit since I left, but I've, I've always been very cautious about not being um, like wh when I started enunciating a lot more. People started, including back home, started. <laughs> this is fun, by the way. Just pointing. <laughs> <to them. laughs> People just, just started assuming. <laughs> We're very threatened. <laughs> right now. Why? Listen to what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's gonna free you. Uh, but I started. People started like saying I sounded posh. I'm like, I do now, and I don't like that because I'm not, and it bo it's bothersome to me. I was gonna say you do have a very eloquent accent. 
Uh, considering where you're from. Relax. <laughs> from the, the slums. I fucking... say the same for you, pal. Well, oh, I thought you're not Indian. <laughs> hey. That would be such a sick twist. Chris, when I saw you at Slum Dog. <laughs> yeah, I, I was the stuntman when he falls in all that diarrhea. It's like my one scene. You know, he met the queen. I did. Oh, in England. England. <laughs> Barely. In a dream last night. <laughs> Barely. Yesterday. Oh, she had terrible news. Yeah. She was, yeah. I actually saw Diana last week. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. I talk, did I, we talked about this on the pod, but I went at the time I was friends with like these rich people and they were like, hey, we're going to take you to like UK. We're going to get you. Do not aim the gun at me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, it's unconscious. Tell the truth. He, <laughs> tell he the truth. So, gets, See how nervous you got? He gets so anxious can about I, the can fucking I be honest? Can guns? I be honest? With everything going on, with everything going on, I really don't like it that you're pointing the gun at me. If yeah, not a good else, look. Yeah, not a good look right now. I think we deserve it. <laughs> we're winning, so. <laughs> <laughs> So I went, I went to the Queen's Ground or whatever, and we watched them play a polo match. And at the, Queen, oh, Queen's Ground, like the the polo, right. area. yeah, because they're acting like a grave. Not Wimbledon, <laughs> Wimbledon, Wimbledon wing, What's the, what's the green area where they with all the green where the horses run? And, and oh, the field. There we go. Give me the fucking gun. <laughs> Wait, no. can I have it? Hey, here you go. <laughs> uh oh. That's how I feel today. That's gonna. That, that's. Would blur you be that. sad? Blur that. We're demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> blur that. If I pulled the trigger, would you care? <laughs> Pointing two guns together like fingers. <laughs> if Hello. I pulled the trigger, will you care? <laughs> <laughs> what if my ops? Sh what if the shooters got me? <laughs> I did see somebody responded to like they they didn't like the guest we had on episode of Sad Boys, and it was like we need to be careful about letting white people use AVE because it was like <laughs> no, Jarvis, that's an op. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> they came on the podcast like, "Yo, what's up, my boy? <laughs> yeah, yo, what's up, dog? It was Frogan. Yeah, yeah. Yo, she, she I, I did. I watched Frogan spot, and she was like, "What's up, Jordan? You, know, you were the, what you up, were the first brother? podcast I was ever on. Yeah, and I was That's so it. nervous. We back in it. I was so fucking nervous. You no. suck shit. You fucked it up. I felt like I did. <laughs> 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 I was like, I was like, I've never done a podcast before. I don't know what the fuck to do. Yeah, no, Morgan left the Sad Boys one. She's like, I got this great idea. Let's start a podcast. That was just what about a one. brown show. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, but we're gonna make it. They were brown, but it's not brown enough. Yeah, <laughs> not, like scary. Yeah. They were brown, but not the brown I like. Yeah. <laughs> What's in right now? Not like anime brown. <laughs> yeah. it, wasn't, it wasn't giving terrorists the way I wanted yeah. it to. Not enough guns. <laughs> yeah, domestic terrorists. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Obama style Kendrick esque. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hip, hip hop. What, what's, what's cool? Right now? Yeah. Imagine like J. Cole with the apology. He's like, nice, but, you know, scary. <laughs> so, was it scary to have J. Cole apologize? That was rough, dude. That's scary in the same way it is to like see your dad cry. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, man. yeah, okay. This yeah, sucks, 100%. Fuck. He really did just come on stage and was like, ah. <laughs> I don't like that. Mummy. Sorry. I think it's cool. It's cool that he did it, but yeah. it's so it's such a bummer that that's his <laughs> legacy. Yeah. Like it has to, a bunch of people are just gonna know him. It's yeah. Like, well, I mean, he's always been he's always been the rapper that's like I don't like I'm not like a I don't want to diss or get down to the trenches like that. So yeah, he's a, it's not out of character really. But everybody says he's conscious rapper, which is like kind of true to like. Uh, Topic and mission to was conscious rapper. He's asleep <laughs> these days, dude. Seriously, some of these little damn, but whatever. He's Mumble. based. Oh man, you can shoot me. So you saw, so you saw the queen. I'm sorry. Finish no, it's story. okay. I'll just, I'll, while you guys were talking, Frog has been brandishing the gun in my direction. Yeah, I know. <laughs> She's like aiming it at my neck. <laughs> Frog, I swear to God, the amount of fucking Arab haters on Twitter are gonna go off with this. Let me see. Let me see. Whoa. She's addicted to the gun, I dude. Know. She's oh. all about that life. Oh, we should get a screenshot of it and paint out the orange tip. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, we can do that in post. Yeah. yeah. Carpet and wool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, in post, can we put also the Iranian flag behind her? Yeah. <laughs> I'm being drafted. a journalist. <laughs> I have a big announcement. A I'm being drafted by the United States to go fight Israel and Iran. Oh, my God. Wait. Both together. Get your finger off the trigger, dude. Which at least. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know when they could turn up. 
Uh, I don't understand why like people get so uncomfortable with a finger on the trigger. With because the I fired it. Look at how it The last time I fired it, you can pull the trigger. You're, you're literally doing the thing. I gave her a real I don't gun. I understand why people think guns are dangerous. They're so cool. I gave her a real gun and started screaming. <laughs> and I was like, "Hey, Frogan, aim the gun. Like this is a real gun." Okay, so I'm like, "Hey, aim the gun." Like in someone else's direction, she goes. James it over and to I'm you, like, aimed it at me. Are you fucking kidding? I mean, me. it was dangerous in that she could just hit you with the gun. He's <laughs> 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 spinning around like Taz. I just don't understand how people get so paranoid about a fake fucking gun. Well, our comments are gonna go on fire telling you exactly because why. Because it's it's gun safety. Listen, brother, I don't think you're an American like me. Give it, give me the gun. If you were an American, you wouldn't be fucking crying right now. Yeah, you're not patriot. Ooh, oh, she has a good point. Because I because okay, totally. She has a good this point. This is what happens when you're a Palestinian. Really. Mm. Yes. I guess I don't know the rules. <laughs> <laughs> I've only been there maybe once. <laughs> this is the last time I was in Lebanon, I had to carry a gun with me, and it was fantastic. And none of us did this shit. You know, I can, actually I can see Lebanese people holding a gun like this. <laughs> Habibi, let me show you this gun. <laughs> let me show you how strong this gun is. I mean, is. imagine if I just held it like this; it wouldn't look as cool. I mean, Kurt Cobain was just playing around with this. That's, that's not fun. how you're supposed I mean, to hold well, it. Well, his girlfriend was. Let's <laughs> <laughs> be honest. Yeah. Supposed to, yeah, 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 yeah. You're supposed to hold it like this. That's. That's trigger safety, okay? I don't care about Everybody, trigger safety. I want to pull Trigger safety. It. Everybody at home, don't listen to Frogger. She never held a real gun. This is how you trigger safe, okay? You do not put your finger on the trigger. Give me it. Yeah. Two Everyone. I don't care Get about a gun. trigger safety. Hold it like this, so it's fine. <laughs> Let your kids try it. It's easy to get a gun. Okay. Teach your kid to use a gun, or are they a pussy? <laughs> <laughs> no. Hypothetically, if I ever had to be in a situation where I had to use a gun to like defend myself, I don't think I'd be able to do it. Yeah, that's not girly enough for you. You need like a pink little one. Oh, I meant like I feel like I'd get so nervous, I'd probably shit myself before like being able to like defend myself. You'd, well, that's you'd get one, one of those little derringers, you know, like a, <laughs> like the one that's like two little oh, circles on yeah, it, old style. Oh. It's, it's, it's a sex worker gun. The little. <laughs> it's very nice if you just say sex worker because it is yeah. just like yeah. old west. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hiding in their cooch. It's Squeeze. The oldest profession. <laughs> My favorite profession. Yeah. <laughs> is it really the oldest profession? No, uh, probably caveman is. <laughs> <laughs> I guess monkey. <laughs> Whatever. Do you think there were like pro caveman prostitutes? Like that would have been a funny, interesting thing to see. Like, oh. Yeah, you have to like draw like eye sacks. <laughs> <laughs> me, <laughs> ooh, ooh, me. Yeah, the very yeah, you give, me, you give, yeah. Me, give me that one antler, and I'll, I'll take that those three rocks, <laughs> and I'll have sex. With That's you. an expensive fucking caveman prostitute. Excuse me. You, how much do you think rocks cost back then? They're expensive. No, that's uh, like change. I was like bottle caps and pull <laughs> yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I watched your I watched your YouTube. I watched your personal YouTube. I just and we did the ops. I, you guys got to do op things. I wanted to do op things. I oh, killed this family. Isn't that word right? This is what happens when you have thirty five year olds try to fucking use your lingo. You're not using no. spelling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. No, <laughs> <they're> not. <laughs> I don't think you use the word op right. He did it. No. Okay. So and, anyway, <laughs> and op. Did you pull the slide off? <laughs> you John Wick disarm Frogan. This is my rifle. <laughs> A 35 year old trying to keep up to date with the fucking lingo. <laughs> you can't your life keep together. up to date with holding a fucking fake gun, dog. <laughs> You're the one that's crying about me putting my finger on the trigger as if it's going to do anything. <laughs> dude, 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 I shot one at the ceiling and you guys all shit your pants. Here you go. I didn't shit myself. Put it back in your holster. Put it back in your holster. Oh, yes, brother. sir. Louder with. <laughs> louder louder with whatever the, you want to do. Crowder with. Uh, louder with Jordan. Lopping as an American. <laughs> you so, so you started watching. So, no, I started watching his, but you did it for like. You started like two years ago. You did it for like a year and then you kind of stopped. Did you like doing the, the <clears throat> commentary stuff? Because I've been trying to do that stuff. But what did you think about it? Um, I mean, I really enjoyed it. I, I was always under the impression that uh, as my quality of life improved, my motivation to do that would improve. Yeah. But like, I mean, I've talked about it publicly. That was like, I started and was maintaining that channel at the lowest point in my life. And it was so much easier because it was like catharsis. Uh, I would do that. I was looking after my mom full time and then I would hop in a, a taxi, go to the apartment that I was still paying too much for, uh, like the equivalent of like 60 bucks each way and stream for like two hours and then Jesus. give that footage upload that footage back to the to the house camera shifts over i'm in i'm making dinner and then i uh get like a email or text from our editor because he was australian and he said this is up i'm working on this and it was like um it was a little reprieve it's also when i posted on twitter more it's just like i understand the compulsion to do that stuff not to be like 
as judgmental of no, posters and being, say. you know, like, like it's. Uh, say it with your fucking chest. I think if you got nothing else going on, it's a little easier. <laughs> to do. Uh, but now, it, yeah, I just, I really. I well, like it was doing, like your one thing. It was like, oh, this is getting me at least somewhat out of. It bed. felt like yeah, progress. Yeah. And like when I had to leave the U.S. originally, which is why I was back in the U.K., that happened right before COVID. And the main thing that was such a stressor is, I had a career that was pretty much non-transferable because mm -hmm. I was in like management and then like partnerships and stuff like that and it is a skill set but it's a really when you get new jobs and partnerships it's from partnerships you've done and there's yeah. no it just didn't seem transferable and it was the beginning of covid and i was uh, the term i kept using myself is like i want my career to be the air around my body like jordan adika is mm -hmm. always a viable as at least a job even if yeah. i'm doing it cynically and to be completely honest the latter half of that time on YouTube was cynical. Uh, oh, okay. I didn't hate doing it, but especially like the final video I did, uh, it's it's me and my me and my partner Katie, who I assume is one of the ops that you were working with. She no, uh, we, we can't we can't we can't no, we, knows nothing. No, we can't it. we can't disclose our our <laughs> best kisser ever. The yeah confidential sources. She told me about your addiction you have. Ah, uh, to the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, addicted to what the dick did? <laughs> she said that. She said that. <laughs> Two yeah. words, Marvel Snap. Yeah, I'm fucked on that right now. I am in trouble. I dropped Slay the Spire in another card game. Pick me up. <laughs> right in the pocket. Pokemon Go money going towards Snap now. We when were you... told... Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, no, you're good. <laughs> you're fine. Uh -huh. I was just going to say, when you say cynical, what do you mean? Because you were like cynically posting? I think, uh, you know, I was um, my, my, because I have to be salaried for my, for my visa. Yeah, right. And so my money, my income was fixed, which don't get me wrong. Being honest, like, it's great. It's like very comforting. It's all I've ever had while I'm in the US. So it's, it's, I know how to budget for it and I'm more comfortable with it. But right at the beginning, we were just starting the podcast up again. You know, we weren't doing uh, ads and stuff yet. And so the, the podcast income was stable, but I, you know, just moved back to the US. I go get furniture, so and so. And I was, m m my our management is great. And so they were just coming to me with deals. And I was like, I just need the money. Yeah. My mom was uh, st still kicking at the time, <laughs> just <laughs> still rolling. And so I was still support, I was still paying her rent and support mm -hmm. and stuff. And I'm like, I just, you know, the champagne problems. Fucking uncomfortable. I don't need my money. Happy. I, like I see the ridiculousness and how little I no, do for work and no, like how no, 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 you're... But it is. It was a like. At the time, I didn't have enough, and I needed more than I deserved. It was more than I deserved, but like I didn't have enough, and I was like, "Hey, if you do this ad, that I can send that back home, and that like covers everything. Right. And then I can do this one. Maybe I get a car. You know, there was always that kind of calculation, and I was just too almost like." hung over from the previous couple of years to like i love i was, I was hanging out with eddie and jarvis last night and one mm -hmm. of the topics we were talking about is like because we'll we'll have the same management and the things that the cadence of the deals we set up and stuff has to be different for each of us because like podcasts definitely coming out every week second episode but only on the patreon what do we have coming through who should we work with to get those blah 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 and the podcast is also very light lift for me. I hop in an Uber, I turn up slightly late, and then we do, you yeah. know, like, uh, it's kind of my brand. And then uh, we, you know, record for three hours, and then the episode comes out a couple of days later. Yeah. With no involvement. And I, in, in Eddie's case and Jarvis's case, there's been a lot of heavy lift videos for them lately, like high concept. They put a lot of hours into. Right. And I'm pretty envious of that, or whichever, whichever between envious and jealous is not like, resentful yeah you know the one yeah. that's you like be Ooh, that's i wish i could i wish i could do that but that's it's not you it's, it's, yeah, yeah yeah it's like i, you, you I would love to being... get there but i'm okay not being there right now yeah, because yeah, i know yeah, the yeah, reasons yeah. i'm not but as soon as i can technically the setup i actually have right now with my manager is that we i've committed to a video in june by june okay. and that's nice but the it, it's a completely different process like you know Speaking of transferable skill sets, I can riff on a mic with no prep. That's the thing I can do. Yeah. yeah. I can do it live or, or you know, semi scripted, whatever. What I can't do or what I haven't done for a really long time is uh, ideate, prepare, and mm -hmm. record things intentionally. Well, I know? identify with that because I am I'm not by no means I'm not I'm not a writer. If I'm like with a group of people, I can I can riff. Yeah. That's easy for me. I if it comes to like my own 
creation, I I freak out. It is like a, just a different like ligament. Like it yeah. just feels weird to stretch it. It's like when you are uh, like you just exercise for the first time in like a couple of weeks. I'm like, oh, I forgot a <laughs> fuck. Shit, damn, wow. Well, how are people okay at this? <laughs> no, I feel my manager's also trying to get me into commentary too, and I'm just like, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't. Like, I, I think maybe in the like, because all my videos were from streams. So yeah. Just like, well, I think maybe it's you can transfer those pretty easily. Mm -hmm. You just cut them to a certain pace, and it's really the thumbnail that makes it commentary. You're right. Just right. gotta steal from Chad. Chad. Well, because you're yeah, it's <laughs> true. Psych. Unless. <laughs> Well, because your videos that you were posting were, were, it was, it was just that it was commentary videos, but you were just watching whatever. Yeah. I think just I like cutting I, that up. I, re I respect you guys for your, your streaming consistency and like content output. Cause I find it very, I'm like hung over from it for like 48 hours. Dude, like, I, don't, I, I fucking, dude, I mean, me. I don't I've, understand I've, it either. I, I've been quitting every week. I, bitch out and quit frogan's the most consistent me i want to die but i also well i don't talk about what i would do but i also work 40 hours a week all of us now are working together which is, yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah making hummus we make, <laughs> we make hummus. cool guys so Chickpeas. like frogan's here working and then we'll go to stream from like seven till fuck what time like midnight midnight, midnight every day usually, yeah my ass is like yesterday was the first time i streamed it for a long time because the crisis i streamed for five hours and when i was done i was like someone fucking beat my ass like i feel like shit yeah. you know mm -hmm. like so if you don't like if if it's not something you you want to passionately do and you have the pod then who gives a shit you know it's like i think maybe especially for I, right now if i got out of the like so when i, I, I went to uh film school that was my, my college and i realized very swiftly that i just hate technical nuance i get very frustrated if my audio is not quite right mm. if, my, if i'm concerned about my angle or the iso is off fucking why did i use this lens mm. and it's never fucked up i've never lost footage but the paranoia i have about that that's alleviated from we have like a really great team for sad boys including jacob our engineer our scootish mode <laughs> i it's like I can access a different part of my brain because mm -hmm. the lift isn't there. Yeah. Which is the whole reason we hired Jacob is, you know, historically we would start, start and stop sad boys for the last six years. Cause we do a couple episodes and we're like, this is fucking, <laughs> this is <laughs> I, I, we can't edit this. It's exhausting. Exhausting. So now, uh, I really want to start doing a D and D podcast again. And I cannot do that until the infrastructure is there. And I feel a similar way about, streaming mm -hmm. doesn't help that my disc is in my bedroom which i really don't fuck with i just you guys have been in my house like the other spaces does not is not conducive for, yeah, yeah that, that living room sense. would echo and like mm -hmm. i was gonna say i have this theory that there's two types of people in the content creator space content what the fuck did i just say? <laughs> content <laughs> creation the yeah, nose is bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> i feel like there's there's two types of people in the content space there's there's film nerds yeah. and there's theater geeks oh yeah okay and i'm both Where, what am i you Hamas. You are yeah. Yeah, you're Hamas. There's so, no, no, also. what am I? Because I don't fit in either of those. I never got into film and I never was a theater bitch. Music. You're a fucking visco girl that happened to turn I was on the not a visco girl. This is the tea. <laughs> <laughs> I was not a visco girl. Chat, I, uh, we have tea. <laughs> we have tea. And Go listen. get me my hydro flask. I, <laughs> no, I never owned a hydro flask. <laughs> yeah, I got one inside. I don't know. He, full of he piss. pissed in it. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you the piss story after I finish this. I'll tell you the piss story. So, anyways. And I can't stand the theater people, but the film people I've always connected with because I love film. Film is mm. like, but you like me. I'm both. You are not a theater person. You're a Funny. film person. You're not a theater person. They're both theater people. Who? Who's they both? Both of them. Who's and Frogan? Frogan's a Wait, how's a Frogan a theater person? Frogan, just her mannerisms are very theater girl. -esque. Oh. I think he's like large. No, there's a, um, yeah, there's something to your animation. You know what I mean? In a good way. <laughs> It's not how you were sitting. <laughs> you know, yeah, film be, people. Doesn't that theater. make you uncomfortable? No, I don't feel He's any type of way. A theater kid. I feel like more film. You are film. Is yeah. it my Donald Trump pan motions? <laughs> yeah, when you're talking, <laughs> you're being what too is, Italian. What, wait, hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> it's Arab. It, it, listen, it's the Arab. But like Arabs, like move their hands a lot when they talk. Wait, Scooters doesn't understand the difference between Arabs and theater kids. Scooters, Arabs, we talk like this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, we should clarify. Uh, theater kid is gay. <laughs> You're clear, yeah. You're being gay. I'm not gay. <laughs> I'd say you were. I said you're being gay. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> Stop. I'd like to say that to your mom. <laughs> I said you're being gay. I didn't say you were it's gay, not the mom. Same thing. Oh. Just fucking slam the door. <laughs> <laughs> what, was, what were you saying? I'm fucking lost, it, dude. I know that. No, I'm the, on the there's game. There's there's there's, there's no, I'm theater. saying like the I'm saying that there's only two. Genders. I have. We have got that. You are uh, Scootish aside. Scootish could have his opinion. Okay, but the thing is, you aside, I feel like we, me and you, like film. You know, I, I love film. I we feel the same way, like with the pod. Like we want the fucking. I'm not good with the shots. I'm not a fucking cinematographer. I have no idea. But like Raph will sit there and we'll set it up, and it looks cool. And I love shots and like how it's. But he does know what angle he wants his face at every fucking week. Yeah, dude. I don't want the double chin angle. I hate the double chin angle. But you but, gotta start mewing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I told him before you got here. I was like, "What was it like this?" <laughs> so Jordan, what's that? What's that? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Under my, <laughs> yeah, you gotta sit as though there is a pistol to. <laughs> That's why he brought the pistol. It's actually a posture tool. It's a mew based <laughs> gun. No, but I'm, I'm saying I connect really. I connect a lot with the film stuff because I love film. Is my passion. Like that's just my passion. I love film. If I could do a, a documentary or a short film, I would do it. Is streaming like? Is was that like the conduit into just making? Anything. So I I made we uh I made you know, YouTube videos and videos for a long time. My cousin uh has like a food website. So uh for like my entire college it was Food Beast and like so we would make I, videos. We gotta show we got to show you. Jordan would actually really I'll really show Jordan. Love I'll show her, but I don't want to talk about it. But yeah. Yeah. Oh. So really I used to make it. these like short films and then like we would put them on YouTube and I've been doing YouTube content but they're, they're all weird and they don't involve me. It's all like right, really yeah. abstract weird shit. And which is essentially like that's as filmmaking as it gets. Yeah, for exactly. Yeah, right, so yeah. I never really did that. And then streaming, what happened was just like I shut down my like my job was gone for six months during COVID. So I had nothing to do. So my buddy with Josh Elkin, who was on the pod last week, he um basically talked me into going live on Twitch because he was like, Hey, your job is cool and all, but you're really good at making this stuff. Go make it. Mm -hmm. So then I started doing the streaming stuff. And then when I did the streaming, uh, I, people were like, you, you, you're great at this. Keep doing streaming, blah, blah. And then like, I, I love streaming, but like, I think at the end of the day, filmmaking is kind of more where I want to go. Like if I could do anything tomorrow, I would drop. Cause I, I feel like, I feel like with streaming, it's almost like this, you get addicted to like, not addicted, but you have to consistently be part of the no and part of the conversation Yeah, yeah. and you can't stop. So like right now, I just want to keep talking about the Palestinian crisis. But unless I go live and do a fucking show with like 100 streamers, nobody's going to listen to what I have to say tomorrow because it, it evaporates. Sure. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's the thing is like I get stuck. And then I, when I want to do a, it's the same thing, like when I want to do a larger project now, I'm like, I don't have time. Like I have to fuck. I have to make money. And then I also have to keep myself relevant because I want to be able to talk about these things. But I won't be able to if I don't have a yeah, platform. It does feel like there's a degree of social maintenance mm -hmm. with streaming which is i guess kind of arbitrary because so is youtube right it's right. like yeah to the consumer it's happening then for the first time it's not as though they like we have the experience of recording a thing and then a delay and then it comes out but to the person watching it this is their first exposure to yeah. that day it's not you know they don't the production process doesn't matter but in i love streaming for the exact number of seconds that i'm doing it and getting myself to do it and then feeling all right afterwards is just so d difficult. There's like mm -hmm. the, I don't get nervous on mic any, like at all anymore. Mm -hmm. Streaming I do for the first like 10 minutes. And that is a, a, a psychological hill to climb when I've become so acclimatized to like easy. Do you think it's because you don't have that delay? You just have that. I'm here, we're recording. What I'm doing, you're seeing at the same exact time. Yeah, I mean, the main reason, I guess, that I stopped doing YouTube is that I didn't like the... Slurs you were saying. I know, I love those. <laughs> Coming up with new ones. <laughs> Look at this fucking sprinkle. <laughs> oh my God, dude, I can't believe you talked about those people like that. Skunk. <laughs> Skunk, and you know what they're like. Yeah. When they drive. Blue people. <laughs> Skunk's always driving like this. <laughs> <laughs> the wheel just goes up. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing with skunks. So. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't like the character that I was in videos. I didn't like the like facade of it. And I think part of that was just that streaming because it felt like so proactive. And I, I think I was a little too scared of dead air when yes. I was streaming. Yeah. Which in retrospect. Because I, I don't really watch streaming, and now I do now and then, and I go like, 
oh, that's fine for this. Like, that's what this, that can be mm -hmm. in the same way that, you know, I wouldn't watch my videos, I think was part of it. It's like, this is too frenetic for me. Doesn't feel quite sincere enough. I might listen to a show like Sad Boys because it's maybe a pace I'm more comfortable with. But it, I, I'm, I was not a theater kid. And I, the more I've had to perform for work, the more I feel like it kind of is sneaking into mm, yeah. me. And I, I don't mind that, but I do want to keep that separation. And it always felt like Jordan Cope does Sad Boys and Jordan Adika has his channel. Mm. And that Jordan Adika character was like not very appealing after yeah. a certain point because I was just doing it for Raycon, you know? Like yeah. Was, <laughs> so when you guys do Sad Boys, like, do you... The, what I was hearing is, do you watch it back? Do you sit down and you go, okay, we're going to listen to this episode the, all the way through, make uh, sure? No. I mean, I've I've listened to uh, one and a half episodes of Sad Boys in the last like year. Oh, my God. I'm very detached from it, but that's because the same editor that does Java's videos and my videos, yeah. and, or, like the, the team involved covers all of that. Anastasia takes care of the Patreon episodes and like reviewing it and making sure everything's there. And then typically, like, uh, Jacob gives us timestamps of anything that we maybe said we wanted to cut. Or yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. know, you heard about these damn Arabs? <laughs> Not the podcast. A <laughs> whole team. Yeah. yeah. Reading yeah. about lo recent news, being like, which one's good guy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because we, we do all that right now. We'll yeah. get our video back and then we're up for like another hour or two that two, two, Monday night or Tuesday night watching the pod and yeah. just being like, you got to change this. You got to do that. You got to do this. I think the vast majority of the post-production time that me and Jarvis were involved in and him even I mean I'll be honest with you when I first moved back I was really I was constantly flying back and forth to the UK and I, it was just like I was in this like depressive state where my energy was just so sapped but sad boys would be the kind of high and the obligation that I have mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would go and do sad boys and then just not be involved in any of the process and kind of appreciating that you know yeah uh, Great, I don't have anything to do today. I can just be hungover, kind of thing. Yeah. But I'm trying to get more involved now because the vast, vast, vast majority of the Sad Boys process that me and Jarvis are involved in, we have a little, uh, it's gathering trends, knowing what we want to talk about, prepping on a, we have like a 40 minute meeting the afternoon before we record the next morning, just to, here's what we're doing. Here's the slightly more cynical topic that we should do because of clicks, whatever. Yeah. And then uh, it's, just texting about thumbnail like that is yeah. we just did we we had like a couple episodes underperformed we're like what's going on like why why are we missing on this and i then we just had a really we just had eddie on the show but through for a handful of reasons his name's not in the in the title and the, i noticed that too i clicked on it today and i was like wait eddie's on the show but he's not in the title i think i, I remind me to like double check this is fine to uh talk about but we knew that having the fact that we talked about and the a comedian saying the n-word would be like the big click through yeah, for yeah, us yeah. and i think we all sort of agreed like we, eddie you don't want to be in like the title <laughs> like, we, we found a comedian that said the n-word with eddie Burbank. <laughs> it's just eddie like yeah lock me up yeah. Oops. <laughs> we can just Photoshop his face on it. Is that bad? Yeah, did that, uh, his, uh, his ghost kitchen video it wraps up. Later. <laughs> Later, my bee. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, we had one. And then I think uh, because we had such an in-depth conversation about it, it's that video's uh, number one of the last 10. And I think it is just that thumbnail element. And I, I, it's, I'm very thankful to have Jarvis and his level of experience and now by extension the team and how many thumbnails they've done Jarvis's videos have been popping off extra lately I think because of a similar kind of the quality of the videos obviously but also like the thumbnail discipline mm -hmm. and the you know um it's funny to think that that's work that that's what does know? it but it is I mean I'm fucking I'm like I'm constantly anxious and terrified about my, my visa UK stuff or yeah. like whatever but I want to get all that resolved because my life is so easy outside of that. It's like yeah. so ridiculous <laughs> how I'm glad I had a career before it because I have like a handful of friends who like the channels like popped off when they were like 19 and they are constantly anxious that they could fall off. Mm. 
because they you know they see this high as uh, I, this number was this high this number was this high and reality i feel like because i had a job that i was good, good at it sometimes and shit at it other times and i kind of i think get an appreciation for how roller coaster well, that yeah is. and that you, roller coaster yeah. we've not, talked about this you know. like there's you can tell the difference between creators who've had a job before and a job who haven't worked like a job before yeah. or at the very least like have the training for like have have like full intent on something else like mm -hmm. jakey full goal for musician like his whole yeah. first time i ever met him i was coincidentally listening this is like six years ago mm -hmm. uh and i didn't know jakey on spotify was naked jakey i didn't like i just had no idea oh, and then they turned crazy. up and i was like this is the first time I, I i ever hung out with like eddie or any of those guys in person and i was like wait pieces are coming together <laughs> and i mentioned it to him he was just like you know jakey mode he was like yeah i um i was actually never really thought that uh it was always music for me that was gonna be the whole thing he's on yoga ball <laughs> he's bouncing around. Uh, every, yeah rolls <laughs> like, i started streaming on accident you fell on the computer. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I'm not yeah. live. No, I, like, I never intended to be a content creator as my like career. Yeah. Um, well, you had a very explicitly working towards a very specific yeah. career. And, like, I was a scientist before. Um, and now I'm a Christian. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like wild because I was like, I just started streaming. I started playing Fall Guys. Mm. And then um, I went viral on Reddit because somebody like did this like mass hate. Uh, comment and I read it because it was so fucking funny and then um, I started getting like the viewership uh, from being on Reddit and then I got partnered. Hassan rated me the day I got partnered and then like I took off. Yeah. Then I started making more streaming than I did as a scientist I was like huh maybe I can do this and I thought I was going to get fired so I quit my job. <laughs> yeah. I remember because when you were on Sad Boys like a year and a half-ish ago yeah. you were kind of I think you were stuck in the exact center of the I, dynamic we're talking about where you had a career and you know ups and downs yeah. and you have a, a skill set, like an undeniable skill set that does have a niche career. But also you understandably have this like, should I fucking move to LA? Yeah. It's like, what if my career changes and it falls over? Like, and that's like, yeah, I remember you being very realistic about it, but also not ignoring the fact that the anxiety is, you know, it's mm -hmm. valid. There's no yeah. rules for any of this. Like, no, ridiculous. No, 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 no. All this stuff can end at any moment. <laughs> yeah, it's literally like if you just flip a coin and you always get it right it's, for five yeah, years. Yeah. You're yeah. Like, just, I, I don't know why. <laughs> it just, just keeps working, I guess. I mean, you started off on the internet as what, Jordy Blaze or something? Oh, yeah, dude. Blaze Jord. <laughs> Was it? Yeah. Dude. Blaze Jord. If you want to send me an email to the uh, Hotmail email I no longer have access <laughs> oh. to, Blaze Jord at hotmail.co.uk. Blaze Jord. Remember that. We got to watch some of these videos. So, yeah. I'd never smoked weed in my life. <laughs> I, was, I was just, I didn't even know it was associated with it. I was doing Blaziken from Pokemon. Yeah. So, we were told that you have like a Movember vlog that you did oh, when you mate. were 18 years yeah, old. Was... And I tried finding it. I couldn't fucking find it anywhere. As intended. <laughs> uh, I think we watched it recently, maybe on a Patreon. I'll, I can send it. You could play some of it if you want. What it's, was this Movember bl vlog blog? Was it blog? every day you just go, hey, I have my mustache? Yeah, it was blog. like two, my second month at college, I guess. Uh, and I, in looking back at it now, I'm like, it's crazy that 18 year olds are adults. Like, this is ridiculous. Yeah. Like, this, you, they should be, they should have like a crib. You know, like it's like the, they should yeah, eat like, tasted like food. a cage around them when they walk yeah. around. <laughs> like bubble like boy. Bubble boy? Yeah. Oh, you're 18, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Like, how can you tell the fucking bubble? Around here? <laughs> like at, at 21, at least that's a, that should be when you're allowed to like even fly dude, by yourself. Yeah. the The other day I was at a hookah bar and the dude was like, "I'm like, hey man," he's like, "I need to check your ID." This was not the other day. It was like five years ago. I was, I was like, say, that oh, motherfucker did not check your ID. No, he did. He did. Nobody it was the same Luka bar we went to. I just don't want to say it here. So anyways, so he checks my ID and he's like, the law changed. I'm like, what law? I'm definitely over 18. And he's like, it's 21 now. And I was like, I feel fucking very stupid. I'm 40. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, dude. But no, I mean, it is just like, I'll, I'll send you the video, but it is a, uh, it's me, 18 years old, wanting to get into content creation. And I've got just... First of all, it made me insecure about my looks for years or like certain things about it because I was the way I'd lensed it, it was with the, like the default prime lens on a Canon 60. And it, 
it makes you look like a fucking flatfish, yeah. dude. Like it pulls you. Like, so I thought I looked that way for years. Uh, it was also pre Invisalign, so my teeth are like crazy, like so much worse. And I, uh, oh fuck, the the part that's bad about it is it's adorable. Like the twing I'm taking. It was day zero of my Movember blog. I'm going to make a video. I guess the plan was to make a video every day, which is kind of insane. As I am already not going to my classes, I'm just doing MDMA, falling asleep, waking up and being like, maybe I should do it. makes no sense. <laughs> just, just every day. Two. I like that MDMA had an op, like an adverse effect on you. Like, I'm actually very sleepy. It's, just, it's literally just like, I, I didn't have any kind of uh, diagnoses for my ADHD and so it's like I'm just spending all my serotonin and dopamine (laughs) while like watching old Looney Tunes clips and then be like why can't I go to camera setup class or whatever but the the, yeah the whole uh, vlog it's like very cute but I am doing what I think is the it's a curse that everyone has to get past the first time on a microphone and it is when you aren't you weren't quite able to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moving your head. And if People you yell, you go like, a lot. Oh, that's crazy. People yeah. do the smacking noise a mm-hmm. lot too. I think it's just the. I'm, I'm, I was, I'm just a stupid person. So maybe that was contributing to it. Hey. But I. <laughs> hey. You're not stupid. Hey. You're a fucking dumbass. Am I? Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, but for that, that bit, good. what I would do is go, no, come on. You know no, what I mean? Like, come on. insecurely not be able to <laughs> yell, yeah, forget. Yeah, yeah. And thin walls in a college dorm. I'm self conscious about that. And you're like air screaming. Oh, <gasps> dude, the whole this thing is. Crazy. is it's play, I'm playing the Harlem Globetrotters theme in the background the whole time for some reason. <laughs> and it is. <laughs> Louder than me. <laughs> <laughs> like, I have to wait a moment, vlog, so maybe we're about to do this. It's very <laughs> Tumblr core. Um, yeah, time for <laughs> this. Yeah. Which I feel like is now, you guys have this thing where, the same experience where y- this is, it's cringe in the moment, and then for five years it's still cringe. And now I feel like I've hit the, like the, the cool. nadir of not caring anymore that guy's like so long ago it's cool now now it's like look at this like yeah look at that that day say little guy what's he doing what's wrong with his teeth i do that i do that on the weekly basis (laughs) it's cringe on monday by saturday i'm like fuck dude (laughs) i forgot i was stupid (laughs) do you think you could beat michael phelps in a swimming competition uh, if I drowned him, <laughs> if I grabbed him by the shoulders, <laughs> I'd send him to Davy Jones's locker, maybe. Because he, he was like a swimmer. Maybe if swimmer? I'm in a boat, <laughs> you're insane. You were a swimmer. How'd you do that with all that hair on your head? The hair is a. Uh, How big was that cap? It's a recent era. I just imagine say. Jordan like just. It's just uh, in the in the water with his afro. Yeah, I'm doing like front <laughs> crawl and like all the water is getting thrown to the side. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I just did it like I never did it at like a collegiate level or whatever, mm-hmm. but I just love it. It's the only uh sport because I used to do it as like physio when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. I have like this uh, uh tissue disorder now, I should really get back to doing it. Wait, what? Well, what sort of uh, I have Ehlers Danlos syndrome, which is like a, a oh. connective tissue disease that it's you know, different levels of severity. I'm mine's not particularly terrible, but it is a like it's very easy to dislocate and stuff like that. Oh, oh. So if you, I like, will start rolling my ankles a lot if I am not keep being as active as possible and keeping my like knee joints strong. Got you. Like mm. got support you. muscles basically, and swimming's great for it because it's not a contact sport. You don't yeah. dislocate anything, and it's uh, just covers the whole body. Bloody stabilizes, mm-hmm. right? And I, I just got into it because of that. And then in college, I I started paying too much money for this spa spot, and I. Now, in retrospect, realized I was just manic. Yeah, but I was just yeah. getting on my bike every day, riding like four miles, going to this Jesus. this pool, going to the gym, and then swimming, and then not eating enough and going home, <laughs> just being like malnourished. I'm like, why am I not jacked? <laughs> I'm like, why do I feel so weird? All I'm doing is staying up till eleven a.m. Ah, playing the chlorine, Dark it's Souls. The chlorine. Just playing Dark Souls, not washing my hair after going in a chlorinated <laughs> pool. And then uh, making an entire roast chicken with vegetables and eating that in one sitting with a, a full, like, multiple people French press of coffee. I would die now. You like, if I did that, I would just pass away. <laughs> I don't, that, like, endurance is crazy. Oh, man. Are you, just because we're on the topic of you being in college, how did you go from film school to working at patreon and then you owned a company for a little bit as well yeah the so the patreon thing was um 
initially for a film journalism class or like a uh, sub journalism class. Like I was supposed to do an interview with an artist or a creator of some kind. Got it. And I wanted to do it with an online creator. And I reached out specifically because Patreon had launched, it was like it's one year anniversary and I was a fan of the platform. I reached out to them and asked to talk to uh, Jack, the founder. Mm -hmm. Any tech founder is just called Jack. It's a legal obligation. And he is white. <laughs> you got him. But he was a musician prior to, or still, you know, during and now. Right. And it was, uh, I did a horrible job recording it, lost all the audio. It was a fake. I had no reason to do that interview. I made up that I had to do it with yeah. the yeah. tech person because I just wanted to get like an in. Yeah. This was my mm. second year of college, three years in the UK, at least for, for my course. And uh, I ended up doing a follow up one with a guy called Cole. We became friends and I started doing freelance editing type work stuff. And then just because the company was new and dumb enough to hire like some foreign kid, not understanding the obligation and expense of getting someone in right. HRB, <laughs> right. it was, they hired me right as I wrapped up college. And then I realized like, Sick. I would love that. I was obsessed with it. And then once passion kind of waned and I burned out a little bit as people do from tech after just under five years, the uh my friend lauren and brigan we started like a uh audio fiction podcast company we did like, like what do you mean uh, what do you mean by uh, like, audio fiction so like it's like, just like podcast, stories yeah like uh like scripted war of podcasts. the worlds like, yeah it was what war of the world yeah. we would play it on someone's podcast <laughs> yeah. and be like oh no no something's happening here. oh no oh, some real aliens are spot. coming down yeah we did that for a little while and then oh, okay uh, and then i unfortunately lost my visa because of some logistical errors in that change. right and then uh now i never really want to i miss the satisfaction of a job job mm -hmm. like n having the parameters for success and meeting them or not meeting them and learning from it right yeah but it's really hard to argue with four hours of work a week with like no, I, that's I, exactly I, where i'm at right now yeah the hell divers we can play oh my this God. Last time. <laughs> i miss hell divers we haven't we haven't saved democracy dude there's a new game Content warning. content warning i keep hearing about it it's, it. it's like jackass or whatever it's, right you it's basically jackass it's yeah. lethal company and you had to find monsters but you had to create your own film uh one person's recording and you have a minute 30 seconds of footage you have to go viral in the and you game. have to go viral in the game i've saw Kraken playing it the other day he says it is really good it's, it's, so, it's a lot so of fun. fun it's a good time it's it's it, you play that later yeah i'm down. sure fucking game I'm out fucking down sure we can i love out. being on other people's streams with no yeah, it's the game. nicest thing in the me world. Me being difficult. Yeah. Me just like, when we played Lethal Company, do you remember me? <laughs> yeah, I just kept yeah, writing yeah. my real phone number. <laughs> 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 I just kept writing <laughs> <laughs> one thing. It like four different ones and then uh, one of my old addresses. <laughs> I love it because it's so crazy that nobody would actually like try to call it. They're like, oh, yeah, for of course you. not. Right? For me, I did that once. No, and somebody you did that once. Yeah, it. I called Ray did it because it was right when we became friends and I was like, give me your number. And then he put it in my chat and I was like, <laughs> Is that your actual number? He's like, yeah, and a Michigan number called him. Yeah. So he thought it was me. And I was like, that's not my number. That's not my area. I never blocked a number so fast did in you, my life. Did you know it wasn't her when uh, you picked up and she'd go, hey. No, I got <laughs> this. <laughs> no, I don't even think they talked on the phone. I think I answered and the, like it was just silence. <laughs> and and they, was like, it was you. They were like. They were jerking off. They were jerking off. <laughs> Ten days <laughs> remain. Yeah. You imagine the ring, but you jerk off. Yeah. <laughs> you have to. Jerk you off. have to masturbate. Okay. Day. Oh no, okay. no, or you die. Ah, uh, please. Uh. <laughs> I've always there's something. I think it's from like because I had a D and D podcast for a little while with like that was actually the closest I've come to like writing and effort in because I made the music. Can and, you like, play? Do you do the? Are you the dungeon master? Do you bring yeah, one in? Yeah, I DM it. We had a team, or like a really fun little squad. It was actually two of the three of them were the Lauren and Brigham that I started the company with. And yeah. the third person was, you know, uh, Nate Stans, the uh, Twitch TV slash Stans. Yeah. Stans, yeah. Stans. Stans. And Stans. we just, it was so fun. And I was burning myself out on just like, I was just, I was working my regular job running the company doing payroll etc and then in the evenings i would just write and prep and whatever and then we'd record and i'd have to write a Do you feel you felt satisfaction from that yeah like, you're like I, oh wow this actually is i think it was the exact point in my i was like 23 t through 24 yeah. yeah i was 24 and i that I was, was like 40 years ago by relax <laughs> it was 38 <laughs> <laughs> i uh i'm not we're in Capri, bro. Hey! hey i'm sorry man i'm dude i i'm 29 
He's so fucking old. He's literally almost ten right. years older than me. Jesus. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> this is so rude. Jesus. <laughs> this is crazy. When you put it like when Slammed. we were talking the other day. I get the old demographic, dude. Those forty year olds that like watch this shit, they love this. When I was in middle school. <laughs> what up, Terrence? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Grandma? <laughs> when I was in middle school, he was graduating high school. We were talking about this the other day. I was oh. like, where were you on 9 11? I was in kindergarten and he was in high school. Oh. See? I was on, That's you, crazy. you were on a plane. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I was actually supposed to go to DC <laughs> that year. I just want to say, rest in peace to our <gasps> uncle. Oh no! <laughs> the worst <laughs> my <laughs> plane! I was, I was in middle school. I don't know if I was like 11 or 12. I don't know what age I was, but I remember that that year. That after 9 11 happened, we were supposed to go with the owner of Food BC, me and Eli. We're supposed to go to uh, to DC, and all the Arab kids at our school pulled out. Scootish, if you fucking sneeze one more time, I'm gonna... you go bullshit. You good? <laughs> <laughs> bullshit. No way. Are you good? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay buddy. I like that Scoot's allergic to dogs, and Capri forces him to go interact with the dog. <laughs> he likes, cool. he likes, he smiles. Okay. Uh, uh, I. Uh, Anyway, so I was supposed to go to uh, I was supposed yeah. to go to uh, DC, and they pulled all the kids out. And my parents were like, "My dad looks at me. He's like, there is no way they're going to DC. <laughs> they do another attack. I don't want you to be there. Ooh. They're never going to attack here, California. Very safe. <laughs> he knows this is my name was here. <laughs> yeah. He's, like, yeah, He's checking his Google Calendar, dude. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> Bro, you know the LAPD tweeted out yesterday. They're like. Uh, given the attacks between uh, Iran and Israel, we're having Los Angeles under surveillance. Uh, and I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. And I'm okay. like, bro, I'm like, I'm What's like, like under everything is safe here. Mean? No, they literally said they're everything actually is safe show here. Up. <laughs> <laughs> we will arrive within four hours of the reported crime. Dude, like, so, Guns out, fingers on triggers. Usually they don't arrive, so that's way better. <laughs> yeah, dude, I remember when you called the, when you got your car stolen and you called the cops. Like, you called me like, they're not answering. I was like, it's LA. They're never going to answer. <laughs> <laughs> a homeless guy looked into my apartment and I called the police. They're like, if he comes back, let us know. <laughs> He's just probably having a good time out there. Oh, Dude, that's like when fucking Paul Pelosi got uh, uh, the, the hammer. <laughs> that guy had the, uh, yeah, uh, Regina from yeah. Scott right. Porter fucking bonked him on the head with, a, <laughs> with the hammer from uh, you, Mario. Right? <laughs> just the conspiracy theories. It's like they were hooking up and he got all angry. People on the internet were like, he was fucking that it's guy. It's so cool. <laughs> yeah. it, I mean, it's just like the, it's like they have the reflective, a uh, reflexive like conspiracy theory thing to be like, okay. <laughs> Be gay? Yeah. <laughs> like, the no instant. matter what happens, it's like gay question mark. Yeah, huh. I have a feeling. Let me check something. <laughs> Scanning. <laughs> gay man. Oh, Wasn't he wearing man. like a gi or something? <laughs> 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 it's in his karate setup. <laughs> He had like a fucking. He went to Home Depot to get a fucking hammer. Rules. So why didn't you have a hammer? <laughs> you should have one. Just like the best thing is that that's how the internet goes. Uh. I, I want to show you guys this because yeah, you haven't yeah. seen this either, and I got it set up. I I don't, I don't like the Sad Boys logo, so I want to <laughs> redo it. Okay, right. <laughs> it's changing soon. He, so. He's coming in hot. It's, it's actually changing soon. No, so I know, I know. You told me that. That's I'm why I'm pissed now. I know that. I know that it is changing soon. You told me, so I was like, why would it change? Like, why? Why do you have to pay? You know, when we could do it for you. So I designed some logos. Well, we designed some logos. He did it. Frogan he designed did it. one. He did it. Okay. Frogan designed all of these. I didn't do any of that. There was one specifically. I don't want to be a part of. I'm not a hater. I'm I'm a lover person. I never judge anybody. I'm not a hater, so I don't want to be a part of this hater logic. Okay, this isn't hater. Don't look I at love, me like I, that. I, I, I don't know how I feel about <laughs> the. There's already so much lampshading of yeah. <laughs> this thing that's supposed to help me. I, no, I this is like. really gonna help. Okay, well, it broke. Okay, okay this well, is really sucks. gonna help you. I promise. So this is this is what the logo is you mm -hmm. have now, right? You call me. So I thought the first one is I thought sad boys, but we got to <laughs> 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 an ethically ambiguous ball. Yeah, that's Sean Evans, dude. Yeah, Sean that's, Evans. Yeah, dude, that's the uh, hottest Evans sauce. On a hot one. <laughs> 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 That's after they do the last. Oh, this dab. is like a ten. This is like a ten on the Scoville scale. Uh. <laughs> so you, we looked at a couple of your Instagram posts. Would you care to explain this one? <laughs> we looked at your colonoscopy. <laughs> Would you explain this, Paula? When your father <laughs> passed away, did you feel sad about that? <laughs> It's Sean when people found out he was dating a porn star. <laughs> <laughs> and then broke up with her the same day. It's done. 
<laughs> All right, this is this one's good. You I don't fixed know. Fixed the spelling too. Joe. Yeah, I fixed it. It's not that. It's not as good. I'll do the next one. Oh, oh. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold on. Sad, <laughs> sad man. Is I, good. I skipped sad, sad man, but look, two guys. Why are they white? Two Why are they white? Well, also, oh, hold on. Brand- they're more olive. Got to agree. <laughs> yeah, they, they, look, they look very. They look Arab. Yeah, that one looks like Hus- Hassan Kadir. <laughs> <laughs> What's Hassan doing here, dude? <laughs> it's Mickey. He's, he's, uh, Mickey's hugging him. <laughs> it's the guy who's always in the Mickey suit. <laughs> yeah. okay. I, I like this. Okay. This one's good. I Kiss like me. this. Oh. <laughs> it does I like this one. It looks like he's about to finger his, put his fingers in his mouth. <laughs> it's true. I did. I did type in two guys kissing, and this is what I got. I think it's his a guy and his twink. So it does make sense. Yeah. I, maybe not. That's, that that stands. The sad, the sad men Cut one. We skip Cut sad men, out. but sad men is you know. I fuck with that. I mean, we are elders now. Yeah, our so birthdays. I'm turning thirty in three weeks. Yeah, welcome to the club. Oh, you shit, and Jarvis are birthday twins, aren't you? We are birthday twins. Two years apart. I'm young as hell. I'm cool. I play Fortnite. <laughs> See? I actually play Marvel Snap. So. <laughs> Addicted to Marvel Snap. No. Dropped to $100 today on Marvel Snap. No, I, yeah, dropped, Katie texted I dropped me last, 30 yesterday. Katie, Katie texted me last night. She's like, she's like, it's getting bad. This is crazy. It's getting, getting bad. Okay. It's unfair. Let's see what the next one is because I don't remember these. I blocked out. I think you be- Feelings. Oh, different I kind of like that one. <laughs> <laughs> that one's the, cool. You hate the logo so much, you changed the show entirely. <laughs> yeah. Name. Well, the, thing is, the thing is, sad boys... It just, it makes me bummed out, but I get like, cause the whole podcast is like, oh, it's guys. We talk about our feelings. So we say stuff that the woke culture yeah, the woke, yeah, like. yeah, well, Facts don't care about your feelings. No, but they do on this podcast. It's oh, just yeah. feelings. And then it's just a sad face because it, oh. most of the time, you know, pessimistic. We, we don't need to say sad. You just, you just show it. Yeah. yeah I, I think, I, I, this, that. I think if the Friday face was green, it would be more positive. Okay. Well, yeah. I, I skip past the green one. Let's go well, to maybe, the next one. Could, maybe like, uh, it could just be mid, you know. Yeah, it's like a, it's like wh- how satisfied were you with the service today? And you could choose the little yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the little this face. Yeah. Okay, here's this next one. Ooh, yes. yeah, no, that's a good one. Yeah, that one's good. No, I can't read. <laughs> that what says your title here. Oh, so what you could do is you could put anything there. My title. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can put anything. I yeah. put my Knight. title, so. <laughs> sir, <laughs> sir Jordan. Okay. I do kind of like that's got big. Uh, game let's play gaming channel yeah, exactly. circa yeah. 2011. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Welcome just... to bastard gaming. <laughs> <laughs> Game zone. No, I got I got a little drunk as I did the rest of these, so it's gonna get a little weird. Soft boys. Jesus, that's rude. Yeah. Well, you're are you ever really hard? When well, you're I did add something because there was no logo, know. so I just mm-hmm. did. This. That's why it's that weird. Whoa! <laughs> you have to blur that for Patreon. Is that mine? <laughs> yeah. Is that? Do we not... have to blur that because I think it's <laughs> it's, it's anatomically correct. Yeah, it's true. Not really the right color. Though. I want to blur it. Also, then... is that cut or what? No. Yeah, go wait, go back, check. <laughs> is that cut or is that just full? I don't want to. I don't want to show this. the school skin. If you guys, uh, if you publicly stated, that's your, a penis, by the way. Your Urban. equipment. It's not whether you've uh, are you still fully equipped or the that bastard doctor got in there. Robbed I got you snipped right. twice. Oh, and that's a story Genius. we can talk about. <laughs> <laughs> he did it. The guy did it, and then my mom, I th- or my dad, were like, "I don't trust this guy." <laughs> Let's get a second opinion. <laughs> no, they, they did not. Yeah, they that. did. I'm going to call my mom right now. I'm taking an extra intro. <laughs> I'm going to call her. I'll yeah, call her I want right to talk now. to her. Our queen. Do you mind? I'm going to call my mom and I'm going to ask her. Rack's mom twice. is my favorite Patreon yeah, I sub. I need her to answer. This would be so embarrassing. Tell my foreskin story <laughs> without her answer. Were you a baby? No, it was like, it was like last year. Huh? It was last year. Yes, I was a baby. <laughs> yes, I was a baby. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. That's two for two. Let me, uh, <laughs> you want? Let me leave a message. <laughs> hey. We're like, SOS, mom, please. What, dick check. We're doing an emergency dick check. I didn't know everyone was just like, everyone in the US was circumcised. That was, I learned that like. A couple years ago. And everyone knew that you were? Or everyone just, what? I didn't know that everyone here is, uh, I'm not. I mean, is that to overshare? I don't know. We just don't do that in the UK. Unless it is a religious relation. It's not like a cultural expectation. Mm. I mean, I guess there is I a lot ruined. of English Jews. It sounds like you have a conspiracy theory about it. <laughs> the Jews don't go to English because there's no fluoride in the you water. You know what they're doing. <laughs> 
The weather's too bad to control with a the machine. There's not enough dentists in the fucking UK. <laughs> and did you see, there's a Bad Bunny tweet that came out. So Bad Bunny um, posted a picture of himself. I'm going to show it to you guys. I'm here in England. I'm doing stuff in England. Have you been watching? Have you watched the Fallout series yet, or no? No, it's good. I hear it's I good. Hear. If you like Fallout, it's good. Is it as good as the Avatar show? No, it's so much better, dude. <laughs> really good. So Fallout much better. Was the best adaptation I've ever seen. Really? It was this picture. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, that was wild. Yeah, so it oh. was this picture. Cool. And um, is he in the show? No. Oh. He brought <laughs> He's in Fallout. It was yeah. this picture, and then it's Bad Bunny, it's Bad and then Bunny. somebody quote retweeted it. With a text message conversation they had. And then they said, did you see the horrible news earlier? And then the person said, the Iran thing? And the person said, what? No. Bad Bunny's cut. <laughs> the fuck? Because he can see his dickhead. His pee-pee's cut. Oh. Yeah. Did you call your mom? Yeah, she didn't answer. Uh, if, she, if she does, if she does, screened. Yeah, screened. screened, really screened Two in. rings. <laughs> she she was doing a concert thing today, so I don't know okay. if she's. I actually kind of fuck with this one. This one's good. I want to finish the last. Is two that lotion? I don't moisturizer. I was in a really weird clip art area. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so here's the deal. It's lotion. You don't put lotion on your pee pee. You put moisturizer on moisturizer. it. Moisturizer. You moisturize. Well, moisturize. Yeah. To be fair, me and Jarvis, we can get ashy. We yeah. do. We literally have a uh, moisturizer oh, that's just out genius. of frame on, like, <laughs> in, really in the filming zone. And before every episode, elbows for the very least. We watched shorts in like one episode during Creative Clash. We got roasted for ashy knees. Oh my god! It's fucking lit up. Oh my god! <laughs> that's gotta be the fucking worst. This is why dude, I don't wear shorts. Dude, nobody is policing ashiness more than Black Twitter. <laughs> they will fucking set you ablaze. <laughs> And reaching your grandma's purse and ask her for the lotion. <laughs> uh, this next one you're really going to like. Ooh, is that me? <laughs> that is you. Yeah. Yes. Do you read it? I wish yeah, I read go, it, please. Atfal uh, Hazinun. I don't know what that means in Arabic, but I, I typed in sad boys. I can give it a swing. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, wait. No, do I, you I, remember? No, do you I remember? I know ah. Uh. Yeah. At, look, it's Atfal Hazinun. Hazi noon is uh is it like ph phonetic? Does the do the letters work the same way, or is it like uh like vert like how uh like Japanese kanji can be altered just based on like small stroke changes? That's what the dots stuff? are for. So like a dot kind of changes it, and then yeah, a dot changes pretty much the the constant. We all work together because I can't read it at all. Rogan can, but can't really speak it that well. And I can and pretend to speak it. Oh, I can pretend to speak it. <laughs> I can speak it very well. And I can actually pretend to speak rap, pretty much every language. And rap, try, try, try one. Chinese. <laughs> I do Chinese. Do Chinese. No, the, the, every single day of my life. I don't know if you include this. Every I had every a, time me and Katie hang out, we're doing it. I had I had, I had, I had a dialect out. teacher <laughs> once when I was like in a like a like a, a dialect class, um, and she was so right over the borderline of racism to, <laughs> with her accents. And she would like try to explain it. And she also moved around really weird. She was like, the Chinese people, it's all, you listen to their music. Ching, 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 ching. <laughs> I'm like, oh no. I'm like, whoa. Is this JK Rowling? <laughs> yeah, basically. She kind of looked like JK She's Rowling. She's like, you know those Arabs, you really want to do this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she tried to do Japanese woman one time. <laughs> I need to get like, you a saber. She, she's like, oh, and then Japanese are very, they're very into themselves. Uh -huh, I am Japanese. I'm like, oh Whoa. no, dude. Oh my god, no. Wait, was this a dialect coach in Florida? You guys do Japanese? Uh -huh. Let me hear it. Watashiwa Frogan. <laughs> oh, what does that mean? Uh, I'm Frogan. Oh, okay. It's when somebody's chat the other day. I was like, Watashi, what up, dude? You start going <laughs> by uh, Frogan Senpai. Watashi, Frogan Senpai. Uh, Capri Chan. Okay, Capri -chan. next one. This is good. This I one's like, I like. I like this he's one. blushing. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Same title. <laughs> Did you AI edit that one? No, that's his actual picture. That's my is that passport, passport photo. Is that your passport picture? Is that your passport photo? That is my passport How'd photo. How'd you get that? How'd you get that? This is just gonna be our thumbnail. Wait, how'd you get that? Where is that? Is that public? <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get his passport Dude, photo? It's like Google Images. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, it's on Famous Birthdays. <laughs> oh, I, think, I think it was on, on my the, Instagram, but I don't think it is now. FBI watch list. <laughs> 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 I put the Arabic 
think I was crying. <laughs> I gotta. I just have to point out that my hairline is fucked in that. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that, that is slanted. That barber, Dude, that is slow. That was a whiff on his part, to be sure. <laughs> it's, really good. it's really good. I don't know. I don't know what else I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really you do like the logo then. It's yeah, the yeah. association. I, yeah, I, I rolled back around. I was like, the logo's good, but we needed someone like a bigger name to produce it. Sure, yeah. I mean, we're shopping the show around. Are we going to go with HeadGum? Are we going to go with Daily Wire? Yeah. Uh, well, Candace Owens is gone. They need, they need, uh, you need a people. couple Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. really, uh, really uh, a couple Uncle Toms. <laughs> You're so right. It would be good. Going on fucking uh, uh, whatever, like, you know, a show that they have called, like, The Bad Truth or whatever. And then, like, <laughs> us going, oh, yes, Matt. So you're, <laughs> you're so right, Ben. I love that shit. Oh, they just get man. one. From the top ten times the lips got on. <laughs> I don't know what else is on here. Are uh, Candace? Oh, <laughs> oh okay. That's That's actually, right. I, I like that one. Yeah. You what do I hate did the is, logo. <laughs> yeah, no, so <laughs> the logo is good. I just, I, you know how like companies they simplify it. I just pixelated it, but I made it very simple. So I guess it is simple. <laughs> yeah. Imagine that on your shirt. At scale. Yeah, it could be anything at this point. Looks like a duck. Hey, you know what's doing great? What? Indie games, pixel art. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. A That's, That's a very timely. Yeah, That's I true. do. I did really like that. I don't know. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I did. <laughs> now, I don't know Kenyan cuisine boys, real well, but I don't. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's denounce sad boys now. <laughs> yeah, you would have the logo here. Mm. You would really focus on the. I don't know, the I don't know it was, who Kenyan. It was down. Yeah, I feel like we should have some more regionally accurate. Uh, 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 I'll ask my dad, and then I'll do his. Vo He's my favorite voice to do. Let's hear it. Yeah, do it. I, have I ever said, I, I, would you like to have some Hamas? <laughs> <laughs> I would. I found this. Uh, Hamas made this for me. <laughs> so if Sad Boys is Hamas, who's the Israel to Sad Boys? Oh, uh, Tiny Meat Gang. <laughs> <laughs> Easily, Rogan. <laughs> Bigger than us, but <laughs> uh, we're doing what we can. More popular. We're fighting, doing, fighting back as much as we can. Oh, that's a good one. Beloved by the left. Yeah, that's a good one. That's I think a good this one. one. I think this one's really good. Uh, call the police. The men are here. I say that every single time I come to this podcast. The, look call out. the police. The men are here. Yeah. But they don't turn up because it's the LAPD. Uh, so well, we're they actually hiring. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're actually hiring on the Arabs. Oh. Yeah. We need do... HR. Mm. Okay. Why? I, why? A I'll sexual harassment case took place today. <laughs> no, we dude. all enjoyed it. I'm no. sorry. Okay. <laughs> talk about this Everybody laughs. We all had a good time. <laughs> not on the pod. I did not like it. <laughs> no. I'll do it again, too, just to prove no. a point. Zip. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled down Scoot's pants. <laughs> His intrusive thoughts won. <laughs> Scoot just stood up. He just standing. Was it just the opportunity or uh, you he just had stood up and he was like, I, was he, he was talking to Capri and I was like, I just had a note. I just pulled his I pants off. I to buy everyone drinks at CBS. That's really, no, what a came cool. came back before that. No, you saying he was asking for it? <laughs> yeah, he, he came was. back before that actually. With those pants? God damn. Dude. <laughs> If you don't want to get your I pants like, pulled I down, don't worry. Around. I was like turning around because I was looking for my phone or some shit. I turned back around and Scootish's <laughs> pants are on the ground. Ref is laughing. Well, you did a full to tip to toe. Uh, pants, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, the intrusive thoughts is definitely one in that situation. You should keep an eye. Uh, he could <laughs> no, not I'm jump good. at you at any good. moment. I'm good for the rest of the year. I'm done. I got my one. Capri's next. <laughs> I said it. Were those all the were those all the possible logos? I know there was one last one. And this one's probably my I mean, favorite. I like personally. all of them. Sad Boys presented by Capri Sun Poppy. <laughs> like, that's, that's a very a uh, high yeah. quality JPEG of the logo you're doing. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. yeah, he that was can't afford Canva Premium, so he can't do the automatic removal no, of the background. Is, no, I, you don't want to remove the background. You want to keep it like Sad Boys. Yeah, you're just Capri replacing Capri the little uh, <laughs> marble head. Yeah. The image of you crying. Yeah, he's yeah. crying. <laughs> he's Does that pre exist or did you take it for this? <laughs> no, it pre exists. Okay. <laughs> what happened? Dude? It my, uh, That's your passport photo? No, I think I was. <laughs> yeah, from, from, from getting checked at TSA. Oh, all the time. I, I don't get checked at TSA anymore. I'm Libyan. Done. I fuck with that. Yeah. Done. Done. That was just the end of the slideshow. That's good. Do our nasty energy. But I but I also added subliminal Do message. Do our nasty energy is so, good. Oh, okay. So, like, just if to check I was, Yeah, sell it to you. Like, what was that? <laughs> yeah, you go, let me go back. Something. 
This is going to sound so, insane. Yeah. Like, I'm not. Uh, wait, let me get my glasses. Yeah. Holding like uh, opera glasses. Yeah. Hold on. Let me do it again. Uh, it, no, I'm, something's happening. Yeah. But I don't know what the word means. Yeah. It's not, <laughs> yeah. You'll figure I've it out someday. I've seen that before. It seems cool. Yeah. But it's that good. was good. I was a good slideshow. I did. I worked on it for 17, 15 hours. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah. 1,750 <laughs> hours. Yeah. One thing that we did learn about you uh, to kind of wrap up this episode of the podcast before we start doing some Patreon stuff. Jesus. Um, we <laughs> yeah, sub to our page. Why are Arab men always so fucking angry? I know. I know They're that, aggressive. Dude. Yeah. I don't know. You're being ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> You're being all. I'm a product war. of my environment. <laughs> As a uh, former Navy SEAL, I am. I may have to do what I have to do. <laughs> I imagine Jordan as a Navy SEAL is just him in a SEAL costume. Yeah, dude, the gun's too heavy. Yeah. Oh, I'm tired. Jesus. That's how Froggy Jesus. gives the gun back. Like, take it back. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you've been trying to get your license possibly, yeah. so I don't, I personally don't trust you to drive, and I figured right. now would be a really good time to see how well you could be at driving. Nice. Yeah, so we're going to test out your driving skill. I'm sl I'm smooth on the whip. Are I'm, you? I'm smooth on the whip. I don't know, I'm dude. Well, this is the right side of the road, so you're going to have Fuck. to yeah. Yeah, you're going to have to you're gonna have to code switch. So, but yeah, like, we set your we, set, we set this up for you. Just go you ahead and take manual the or automatic. No, or it, this is automatically this manual. This is like Arabic poor. cars are on the floor. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we drive in pro like a Flintstones car. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, dude. This is very delicate. You can still sit in your chair. This, 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 this oh, is we, on your lap. This BMNG. No, this, yeah, this goes on your this lap. This is definitely not BMNG. This is definitely something that the police have given me for a driver's. Oh, this is a full sim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should put my microphone. There, I guess, either I I'm recording or, <laughs> or I'm streaming this. Here, I'll hold yours and you hold his. <laughs> no, we're good. I got, way, I think I got, got this. It. The one time we did the pod, I streamed straight to Twitch, and it was just my screen. <laughs> was, That's my posture. It's good. It's good. It's good. good. Okay. Ten and right. British ten guys be driving like. Yeah. Ten and ten. All right, so ten you want to unpause it, hit the start button. If you don't know, in England, it's the same yeah, one. In my car is no start. <laughs> Yeah, go. Okay, go. I'm you just, all you want to know, you're not racing. You're just trying to get to the bottom of the hill. That's all you got to do. Because you're in California, so really, you have really? to like drive. Down well, here's hills. the deal. Here's the, the things... deal. If you want to be a real American, you got to learn how to drive a truck off road. Oh, this is it. That's very literally off the road, I guess. Yeah. Sky. Okay, so you're just gonna drive down the hill. That's all you got to do. Really, okay, really. Check my blind spot. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> smart, side, smart, smart. Yeah. That's good. Uh, yeah, gotta, uh, my, as my source said, you got to break your neck. You'll be checking all the mirrors to make sure that the, the uh, test. that everything's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, and this is this is my truck, right? Yes. Right. Yeah, this, is truck. <laughs> this is your truck. This is your truck. I want to do a drive by. Can I have the gun? <laughs> no, you can't drive. Yeah, you by. can't drive with a goddamn You're gun. Don't be a statistic. Jordan. Don't be a statistic. I can do what I want, actually. <laughs> Pretend to pre give you. This is sound crazy. I kind of can't help but feel like I'm going off of the. Cl yeah, no, because now I feel <laughs> oh, bad. Okay. Oh shit! Oh right. shit! Like like okay, oh, so dude, split so this with a Joe Rogan clip on the top <laughs> of it. <laughs> Yeah, this is, this is just ADHD fuel right now. Oh, wow. <laughs> this happens in real life. People glitch out. Yeah. This happens. This and subway this, service. This you know what's really fun about this is that you're just pumping the gas and not even pressing on the brake at all. Well, yeah, I'm trying to get down the hill. I'm trying to get to work. I'm late for a ramps. <laughs> this is perfect. The glitching out is it is well, American. It could be. I, it, this is a thing with. Uh, this is a Chinese car. <laughs> the construction. You can't trust these. What guys. is that? It's is like Ludwig's car. Is little baby. <laughs> yeah. This is, the, this is what happened to the one that got stolen. Yeah. This is good. This is not is bad. Is this a Zuzu Jeep or something? What is this? I, to be honest, I'm it's drifting. doing it's doing really well. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, we're, back, we're, back, oh, we're back. We're back. All you gotta do is make it to the red line. You get your you get your driver's license. Yeah, if you get it to the red line, you're good. Yeah, you're you're solid, okay, dude. Okay, this is good. This is good. You're so good. You're so good. You gotta slow down. You 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 are missing you, one wheel. If you do, no, he's missing two. If you do okay. want to give it another go, I will give you one more shot. Oh, here goes the time. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. I don't think yeah. you can go anymore. Uh, you're, you're, you're done. But I don't think uh, this is four wheel drive. Well. You, you can you can do it. You can do one more time if you hit right on the D pad, <laughs> which is also on every. Say, this is your last driving test. Go ahead and. Did uh, I survive the last one? You, uh, no, you uh, lost. You did not get your license. How far down do I have to go? <laughs> yeah, you just got to get to. You, you got to get to the red line. Yeah, yeah you got to get. Instructor doesn't line. cover this at all. Yeah. <laughs> Sucks. I so, think you press start just like the normal. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. All right. Enjoy. Okay, good, good brake check, brake oh, check. Nice. Uh, okay. me get the... Just be safe. You forgot your gun. Oh. Yeah. Oh, hold on. I also forgot to. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yeah. 
I think you just didn't hear the sounds of the car. <laughs> you got to hear the sounds of the car. Yeah, I think you messed you gotta up. You got to hold the gun like your Zorro. Oh, hell yeah, with his guy's famous gun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. His famous gun. <laughs> <laughs> this is really good this here. my favorite movie as a kid, dude. I know my Zorro. That and Wanted are your favorite movies. Oh, I know why it crashed. <laughs> yeah, I'm going <laughs> to shoot, shoot in a big circle, kill myself, and Angelina Jolie. Uh, I think feathering you... the hammer. Oh, I fucked oh. up so bad. Because... Press start again. Yeah, press start. You were you were there. Paused. We go. I'm a fake game, I guess. Yeah, here we go. This is good. This is good. See ya. See okay, that's reverse. Good, good, See ya. You're doing good, reverse. Cause... You're doing good. Oh no, that's also bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, bad. I thought maybe there was a road it's or something. All like bad. Yeah, no, it's you all just bad. you just gotta drive down the mountain. It's a really an American thing in a truck down a mountain. I suppose my concern is the, da the damaging the car. No, you no, don't want to no, damage. No, no, no. You don't want to damage the car. You just want to get down the mountain like a normal person, okay? Hmm. You might want. Okay, you might want to get. Yeah, yeah. Wasting gas is. is you're good. still. You're kind of stuck there, dude. What a gas I'm, just, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm shifting the gear up to see if I can really get going. Yep. Yeah. No, that's not yeah. working. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna reverse. That for the, it for the people, happen. how'd you get stuck? You didn't even do anything. For the people <laughs> listening right now, the car's pretty healthy. He it doesn't look stuck. damaged, does it? You're doing a good job. It's because it's the wrong side of the road. Is there any way you okay. can do this, this is good. better? No, this is good. This is good. This is right good. now, Buster Brown. <laughs> All right. Check this All right, so you just gotta get... No, no. no, this is good. This is good. You're this doing is... good. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's 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 actually sick. Pretty sick. You're doing good. You're doing that was good. actually good. pretty good. Yeah, that was... You're doing good. You're doing good. You're doing good. Okay, well, that was... You're good. The engine's not... Okay. Okay, yeah. You're good. You still got your back wheels. As long as you... Oh, dude, you got your back wheels. Oh, you're so good. You're so good. You're so good. Just you're get so all good. the way down. You're, okay, you're good. You can't. I need all the wheels, or no? Just do the back two to drive. Yeah, nice. Really? Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. oh. I like this point oh, of view. Oh, we got oh, 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 so I get a better view. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I think it was the view that messed it up. Oh, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Somehow, you're good. Oh, what is this? You're good. You're so good. You're good. You're just a truck bed now. I switched from the I to the bed. This is good. This is good. <laughs> not as damaged as the rest of the car. Yeah, it's not that bad. The truck bed kind of works. So I'm kind of crushing this. Now we know that if we want to survive a car accident in a pickup truck, <laughs> we have to be in the bed. This is like Simpsons hit and run. Where if your <laughs> car explodes, you can just drive the wreck. <laughs> That's such You're a good game. You're so close to the end of this. Oh, come on, mate. Please. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is amazing. I think one of the hard things about driving is having to hold the wheel in place. <laughs> one <laughs> one hand gun. and a yeah. gun. See, thank no, God. Oh, no, 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 no. No. What does that say? Come on, baby. It says, out of oil overheating. <laughs> Bro, that's what it tells you. It's wrong. Okay. There's only one thing wrong with the car. We're going to check the... Uh... <laughs> 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 not a lot of progress on the other part of the car. Oh, I can put my uh, headlights on. That's not bad. Wait, where's my hazards? I think uh, <laughs> put, put the hazards on. I should on. put my hazards on. That's responsible. That's actually, that's actually very, very responsible of you. I give you a B minus. How long have you been doing driving instructing, like with somebody <laughs> with a teacher? Um, I've had one American lesson, and I, uh, I'm pretty, pretty good in the car. Then you go, you know, I drive. yeah, you don't look but that bad. I did um pay for a. A, like ex a, a expedient course or whatever. I don't. I guess a crash course. I'm kind of crushing it that way. <laughs> I paid for it in <laughs> September, and I haven't done the written test, so I haven't taken any more classes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, Raph and I have to do the California written test again. Sucks. Well, not it. again. It's just stupid. The UK one has weird nuanced ones that it doesn't. But all the all the drunk driving ones are crazy. You can just it, you should not be allowed to drive. It's like yeah. what if you get caught drunk driving? Slap on the wrist. <laughs> Naughty. Five dollar fine. That's in the UK? Was it you? No, yeah, dude. Oh, really? Was it you who brought it up about how, like, how there's so many people that are content creators that drive drunk? Literally almost everyone I know drives. Yes. <laughs> really? I'll take it away from uh, no one I have uh, shared the screen with. I'll say there's no, like, none of them. But yeah, like so many of like any, like anybody that we know that like smokes a ton of weed or uh, is brave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we, I know so many LA people that just do California stops, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fuck. It is really strange. I mean, that's the kind of stuff that I think immigrant status makes me too nervous about. Like, I just don't. Yeah. I'm a good little boy. I'm nice. You just got to be a good little boy I'm, until you get your green card, and then you're, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> Back to the uh, okay. Well, the truck bed is also fucked now. I think everything is. I think everything's. Oh we'll try it one car. more time. Oh, there's motion though. Should we try like oh, a regular there you go. road? That's good. Smoke. The smoke is good. Smoke's yeah. good. 
I can give them a different thing on the Patreon. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. A real a different test. whip, whole new whip. Yeah, I'll give. We'll you do a whip. whip. We'll put you on the street. Have you drive around like a normal driver? Well, yeah, this is remote controlling a real car, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You actually killed someone Whoa. twice. Twice. Man, who cares? All Are right. They hot? <laughs> <laughs> no. Jordan, is there anything you want to plug before we move on? Well, I suppose <laughs> main thing I would want to keep in mind: if anybody's got a, you know. A Honda white they Bronco. Want to give you. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking how funny it would be for me to just buy a truck and have a bunch of lumber in the back, uh, unsecured, rolling around, and then so clearly smart. not. I have like you know princely hands of a typist. I have no fucking wrist strength. I cannot do any kind of manual labor. I'm just holding my airsoft gun, turning up at Sad Boys like a stepdad. <laughs> hey, kiddo, what are you doing? What's you playing on an iPad? You can anger You're always bringing something into the room as it doesn't belong there. <laughs> yeah. Smoking, <laughs> smoking menthols. Hey, kids. Classic marble reds. Uh, what yeah. about a firebird? That was me. I like drive up in a firebird. <laughs> Playing a uh, and like you can hear through the window before I open it, and a bunch of smoke comes out. It's like ace of spades. Yeah. A tribal tattoo. <laughs> I tried to give myself. Yeah. <laughs> Gave him <halfway> Clearly infected. <laughs> uh, hey kid, I've been teaching myself she gymnastics. Was that hat. <laughs> yeah. Wait, have you ever given yourself a tattoo? No, I, I would. I gave Raph one. Yeah, she yeah. gave me this one. It's up here, all the way up on my thigh. Ooh, what you got? A little sword. Oh, that actually is. Like, yeah, you give can me see, one. Do you, you have can the, see the stuff? It's at his brother's house. Yeah. You let me give you a tattoo. Yeah. You want to do it? Got to lotion it up. I'll do it on the show. <laughs> do it right here. Next yeah. time you come on, we'll do it. Tattoo Fuck me. it. Tattoo we know me. how to tattoo now. Yeah, we're solid. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. But maybe the gun, and it's like a, like this. You what know? if I yeah, took yeah, yeah, yeah. a gun, a, a full outline of a gun, just like right here? <laughs> just, we'll just put the Arab's web address. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Our QR code. Yeah. Our RSS feed. A QR code and you insist it goes to my Twitter. <laughs> so then you, you try it and it's like Jordan, plug plug something. Oh, uh, <laughs> plug anything. Plug in the, okay, what's up? Any just, dates? I'm Got any dates park. coming up? <laughs> <laughs> just parking, give me a sec. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that button is broken. Oh, um, shit. check out Sad Boys if you fancy. I don't know. Uh, uh, YouTube.com slash sad boys or maybe it's sad boys pod. I think it's sad boys. <laughs> I think we uh, we we swagged that out. Um, yeah, you can you can check that out. Maybe you go watch my old videos. Yeah, my therapist yeah. recently did, and then he asked how much money I made. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I love that. That was cool. That was a weird day. I love that. All and right. He's in a funky mood, maybe. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys on the Patreon. That concludes this week's episode. <laughs> Sub to the Patreon. Link will be below. Go follow Sad Boys. Yeah. Right, yeah. Bye. 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 Hi, sweetheart. What's up? Hi, Mom. You're on You're on the podcast with... Wait a minute. How can I be on the podcast? I'm listening to the podcast. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>